In his address to the conference participants, the former finance minister Trevor Manuel spoke out on what he says is wrong with the country. There are many things wrong in this country and I want to just digress and talk about them. I get very deeply hurt when I see that there's new forms of discrimination practiced where we say this one is too dark to go to our hospital. That one doesn't speak the same language as I do. They shouldn't be allowed in our hospital. What have we become? You see, our constitution says South Africa belongs to all who live in it. What have we become? And we must never allow that kind of behavior to shape who we are and how we relate to each other. We must call it out because it's wrong. Another former finance minister, Ntlantlanene, who is now chairman of the board at Tebe Investment Corporation, detailed how South Africans should be directing their efforts in order to reduce unemployment, currently sitting at 34.5%. The first calculation that policymakers and societal partners should start with is how much business must be created to, for example, have unemployment. The first calculation should not be about how many jobs we want to create. That's because job creation is the outcome of something else. Jobs don't create themselves, I've said so. They're created by people who start businesses, the outcome of which is job creation. Ellen Gray says it believes that entrepreneurship is the best way to counter the triple challenges of unemployment, inequality and poverty. Students with technical talent uh, really can take their trades and make it an entrepreneurial pursuit. That one, create economic opportunities uh, so they can employ other, um, other young people who are unemployed and they then uh, increase the revenue and a tax base for the country. So we believe if we can get students with technical talent, with entrepreneurial spirit, we can make a dent in unemployment, inequality and poverty. Among the sessions that were hosted was a discussion on female-owned businesses, particularly those in the artisan trade. The session explored their journey and how their businesses can contribute meaningfully to the economy. I'm trying to break that barrier of like a being women always being in the background and the men being out there in the industry and all of that. So um, I chose this also business because it's something that I really, really enjoy doing. And yeah, I am also a qualified plumber by profession and I'm an engineer technician. Our key mandate and focus is reading for meaning and calculating with confidence by uh, 2030, having all kids in South Africa, very audacious, all kids in South Africa, we want to see them reading and, cal and counting with confidence. Diabo Sito, SAPC News, Johannesburg.